it's time to get started with uh, the actual Nova Point part of the project. Up until now, it has only been AutoCAD and pure AutoCAD, XREF validation file structure, only XREF or only AutoCAD. To begin the Nova Point project, we first of all have to give it uh, an identification, and to do this, we go to the Nova Point menu and choose project identification. Here we have three different windows that we need to fill out with the uh, information. First of all, we have the actual identification file of the project. This is a file which will contain all the changes and setups and layouts that we do during our Nova Point project. They will be saved into this identification file. To make a new one, and this should be placed in the Temo folder here and give it the name of your project. The next window we need to fill out is the terrain model and <coughs> the terrain model is actually the database in which we save import export all our different data it can it can be our maps our three dimensional data our center lines and so on all our models um, the feature code library can be either soci or tmod and it, it makes no difference since we are only working with dvg files so you just leave it at soci standard then to create the train model and it should be placed in the table folder as well and preferably with the same name as the identification file because these two files will always connect road model uh, the last window uh, for each road path or whatever you have in your project uh, you need a road model so in this case you can have several road models in one project in your case you are dealing with a bypass and this is one main road one center line and this is probably the only road model that you'll be dealing with uh, during your work let's say you want to create some geometry for one of the um, the crossing roads then you would need a road model for this maybe you would like to do a roundabout then you would need a separate road model for this as well but we might as well make an empty new road model for your bypass and this should be placed in the VIPS folder like this now we have created a new Nova Point project. It's still empty and now it's time to, to fill in uh, all of our data and start working with the database. 